Hey, 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 welcome back. It's fall, y'all. So we're going to do some crafting today. I have this wreath that I made last year. And as you can see, it kind of fell apart. Um, and I'm going to revamp it for fall 2024. All right. So this started out last year as a, it was a dupe of a pottery barn pumpkin wreath. So I'll put it right here. All right. So that wreath. I saw a video of it last year and I thought this would be really pretty and something I would really like to have on my front door. Okay, so I'm going to revamp this wreath. As you can see, it's kind of in shambles right now. And that was one of the issue that I had with it. It fell apart quite frequently. This one was one uh, casualty. You, I don't you think you can quite see it there. It's got some bite marks on it. Because these tended to fall off a lot last year when I would open and close the door, I was taking Roland out for a walk and uh, one of these dropped off and he grabbed it before I could get a hold of it. So, you know, the five second rule doesn't apply when you have a two second dog. Remember that. It's pretty straightforward how you make this thing. And I'm going to just go ahead and disassemble it and then we'll reassemble. Pumpkins, reassemble. Started off trying to find just the dark ones because those were my, I, I like these the best. I found these and I think I bought them at a different time and the um, I didn't realize there were two different there were two different oranges I thought they were all the same but that's kind of how that happened but when I went to put it together last year I tried to alter alternate so we'll see if we need that one later I saw another person do this and she hot glued, she took all of these clips off and hot glued them. That's also an option if you want to do that. I just, I didn't have the patience to do that with all that hot glue. This way, it'll ro rotate more inward. And if you put it on this way, it'll, it'll be stopped by the middle part. So I think the better way to do that is to put them this way so that they can rotate they can rotate a little bit. So I'm starting with, I'm going to just start with putting a bunch of them on the center and go from there. I'm going to get them close enough that they're, they're snug, but not too close. I'm going to have to scooch these two together because they're not quite, they're just a little, they're just a little too close. You have to be careful about getting those clips on too. Because if they don't get on securely, they really they really don't like to stay. And that's what I think was my problem last year. They kept falling off so much. Okay, so now that the middle the inner row is on, then you can start doing the second row, which works better to do this way. To do the opposite of the way you just did them. So put so put the pump so put the clip facing if in this case it's facing me. And then you can rotate it up and secure it. I'm gonna see if I've got enough to do alternating. And see this is where they would fall off. They do tend to fall off. I'm gonna see if I've got enough to alternate. I'm not sure if there's enough of these muted ones. They're, they're, they, they all say they're muted, but these seem, these are, what, as you can see, the, the difference, they're way more muted than the others. It's, a, it's also a lot of finessing of these things. They're, And making sure you really clip that sucker on there because I think that was my problem last year. I didn't always have them on very secure and then when it came time to close the door they would they would open up. I think it took 16 packs total to get all of these to get this large wreath. So if you have a smaller ones you won't need as many obviously and I do believe this is the largest of the wreaths that the um 
Dollar Tree carries. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough of these to go all the way around. So I think I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to do them randomly. When I did this last year, I couldn't get the three, complete three rows that I originally saw. That's why I don't have it. Um, as many, why I need more pumpkins. Because I think I just did two and alternate, I just alternated the two, between the two rows. Which worked for me. I mean, it, it was, I was happy with how it looked. I wasn't going completely for authenticity, I guess, of these things fall off. <laughs> My second casualty there. So you want to be aware. I can I can see why the hot glue, why the hot glue option might be better because it they do tend to fall off, and they tend and I had a lot of trouble with them on the door last year. So the the hot glue might not be a bad idea, especially if you have a high traffic door that you're that you may put this on, like I do with I put it on my front door and you know I'm in and out all the time. And you also have to remember you're working with stuff from the Dollar Tree and that isn't always the highest of quality things. Um, so, you know, there is that as well. So I think that's how I ended up doing this last year was just doing two, two rows instead of three. It saved time for me and it saved a lot of headaches and it saved a lot of trying to get too many of these but i think you can get into a pretty good rhythm of putting these on and you know, going back and forth alternating if you if you can't find all of one color like like me i had um so i've got one two three and then i've got a, a couple more before i put another lighter one in if you want it to be more uniform, that's that's fine. I'm kind of ram trying to randomize it so so it won't look too perfect. I mean, it's not ever gonna look perfect. I mean, it's homemade, right? And I think I know when I did this last year, one of the reasons I had that sunflower on the top was because of not having enough pumpkins to go around. So that was also a reason for that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add these in. There we go. Now, I could add a couple more. Um, I may swing these two around. Closer together here. And it's really just however you want to finesse it in. And move them around and I think that was one of the reasons why I also put that sunflower up here on the top because I was not able to get the last pumpkin to fit kind of fit in there and it, it looked a little off and I had a hole like right there but if you stop here or you or you do three rows that would look ex pretty much exactly like the pottery barn one I wanted to make it more me I got him for $3.99 and I decided that I had to add it because it's Fox of course so I ended up putting it in the middle like that 